This is another sign of the times, an analysis and a commentary. Signs of ancient water on Mars. NASA's Mars rover Opportunity has found bright veins of a mineral, apparently gypsum, deposited by water near the rim of Endeavour Crater. The discovery was presented at the American Geophysical Union's conference in San Francisco. This tells a slam-dunk story that water flowed through underground fractures in the rock, said the principal investigator for Opportunity. This stuff is a fairly pure chemical deposit that formed in place right where we see it. It's the kind of thing that makes geologists jump out of their chairs. The vein, examined most closely by Opportunity, is about the width of a human thumb, one to two centimeters, and forty to fifty centimeters long. Observations by the rover reveal this vein and others like it within an apron surrounding the rim of Endeavour Crater. Nothing like it was seen in the 33 kilometers of crater pocked plains that Opportunity explored for 90 months before it reached the crater, nor in the higher ground of the crater's rim. Last month, researchers used a microscopic imager, an alpha particle X-ray spectrometer on the rover's arm and multiple filters of the panoramic camera on the rover's mast to examine the vein which is informally named Homestake. The spectrometer identified plentiful calcium and sulfur in a ratio pointing to relatively pure calcium sulfate. Calcium sulfate can exist in many forms, varying by how much water is bound into the mineral's crystalline structure. The multi-filter data from the camera suggest gypsum, a hydrated calcium sulfate. On Earth, Gypsum is used for making drywall and plaster of Paris. Observations from orbit had detected gypsum on Mars previously. A dune field of wind-blown gypsum on far northern Mars resembles the glistening gypsum dunes in White Sands National Monument in New Mexico. The origin of that wind-blown gypsum is, however, uncertain. It is a mystery where gypsum sand on northern Mars comes from, said Opportunity Science Team member Benton Clark of the Space Science Institute in Boulder, Colorado. At Homestake, however, we see the mineral right where it formed. It will be important to see if there are deposits like this in other areas of Mars. The Homestake deposit, whether gypsum or another form of calcium sulfate, likely formed from water dissolving calcium out of volcanic rocks. The calcium combined with sulfur that was either leached from the rocks or introduced as volcanic gas and it was deposited as calcium sulfate into an underground fracture that later became exposed at the surface. The discovery of gypsum fits the emerging picture of an ancient wet environment. Throughout Opportunity's long traverse across Mars Meridiani Plain, the rover has driven over bedrock composed of magnesium, iron, and calcium sulfate minerals that also indicate the presence of water billions of years ago. The highly concentrated calcium sulfate at Homestake could have been produced in conditions more neutral than the harshly acidic conditions indicated by the other sulfate deposits observed by opportunity. It could have formed in a different type of water environment, one more hospitable for a larger variety of living organisms, Clark said. Opportunity has been exploring Mars for nearly eight years, far exceeding the rover's original three-month mission, which began in 2004. Gypsum veins are just the latest example of an important discovery about wet environments on ancient Mars that theoretically may have been favorable for supporting microbial life. Opportunity's equally productive twin, Spirit, stopped communicating 2010. Opportunity continues exploring, currently heading to a sun-facing slope on the northern end of the Endeavour Rim fragment called Cape York to keep its solar panels at a better angle during the mission's fifth Martian winter. The fact that the gypsum is found right where it formed is significant. 
that can't be said for other gypsum seen on Mars or for other water-related minerals opportunity has found. Other deposits of gypsum on Mars, for instance, are wind-blown dune formations where the mineral might have traveled far from its point of origin. Homestake and similar looking veins appear in a zone where the sulfate-rich sedimentary bedrock of the plains meets older volcanic bedrock exposed at the rim of the crater. That location may offer a clue about their origin. We want to understand why these veins are in the apron but not out on the plains, said the mission's deputy principal investigator, Ray Arvidson. The answer may be that rising groundwater coming from the ancient crust moved through material adjacent to Cape York and deposited gypsum because this material would be relatively insoluble compared with either magnesium or iron sulfates, he said. In other words, they have found water on Mars. It's in the rocks. It could be even underground. And it's at the polar caps as water ice. And water is life in some kind of way. Mars is a part of the future of humankind. Someday humans will go to Mars and colonize it. This is a prophecy and a prediction. It's also about what kind of world or worlds are we leaving to the future generations. Everything is connected and everything is numbered. It's also called fate or destiny. Again, Revelation chapter 21. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. 2. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven, saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with humans, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. 4. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. 5. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, speak, for these words are true and faithful. 6. And he said unto me, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is thirsty of the fountain of the water of life freely. Yes, the time is now, and all these are more signs.